Hello everyone. I'm White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, we will be sharing files between Ubuntu and Windows. Regarding this, I have previously released a video, but at that time, it was with Ubuntu as a desktop. While a desktop is user-friendly, today I will introduce how to configure using the command line's black screen. Let's get started then. I am connecting to the Ubuntu computer via secure shell because the keyboard stopped working. The command line interface of the Ubuntu environment connected via secure shell and that of the physically directly operated Ubuntu environment look the same. Therefore, we can achieve today's objective even by directly operating the computer. When sharing files between Windows and Linux, the most common and easiest method is to use Samba. However, the methods for sharing files in Linux are not limited to just Samba. I will demonstrate several examples in the video. The method I am introducing has been covered in a previous video. Please watch it if you are interested. Since Samba is not installed by default on Ubuntu, I will install it. The installation is complete. I will check the status of Samba. It seems that it starts automatically at the same time as the installation. It appears that in many Linux distributions, services start automatically. Next, I will configure the settings for the directory to be shared. I will make the directory named shared located directly under the user's home directory shareable. I will edit the file and add settings for the shared directory. At the very bottom of the file, I will write the content of the video. Since I often don't remember the content to write, it's okay to copy and paste according to your own environment. Please copy and paste it from the description provided in the link in the video's description section. Since I have modified the file's content, I will restart the service. Immediately after installation, Ubuntu either has a firewall disabled or not installed. For learning purposes, I will deliberately set up the firewall in an active state. In modern networks, using Samba often requires only opening TS port 445, but there are exceptions, like in the case of videos. First, I will check the status of the firewall and then proceed to open the ports. The firewall is enabled and port 22, which is necessary for secure shell connections, has been added. TS port 445 is used for the server message block protocol, and opening this port enables connection to the Samba server. I will check if it's possible to connect using Windows. I didn't create a user specifically for Samba, but you can access a Samba share using an existing Linux username and password. I was prompted with Remember Credentials, so I checked the box and clicked the OK button. I will check using the Credential Manager in the Control Panel. If you understand this part well, you won't need to enter the username and password again for subsequent connections. As a result, Access to the Samba share becomes quicker and smoother. The Credential Manager automatically uses stored authentication information to perform the authentication process in the background. Since we have the opportunity, I will try creating a folder within the Samba share. Access was denied. I will review the settings on the Ubuntu computer. I will set full control permissions for the directory. I was able to create the directory with full control, the owner, group, 
and all other users will be able to read, write, and execute the file or directory. I will check if the unboot your computer is visible on the Windows network. I refresh the network, but only the Windows computer is showing up. Since the automatic detection by network discovery isn't working, I will address this issue. The page on GitHub will provide a solution. I will install a tool called Web Service Discovery Host Daemon. It's a program that enables on the hosts to be discovered by Windows Web Service Discovery clients. In the case of Ubuntu 22 points Airfer, Web Service Discovery Host Daemon is included in the official Universe Package repository, so there is no need to add a repository. Now that the installation of Web Service Discovery Host Daemon is complete, I will check its status. Upon installation, it starts automatically. Additionally, firewall settings are required, and it's necessary to allow traffic through specific ports. According to the description on GitHub, it mentions using IPON 3702 and TS 5357. This time, the Ubuntu computer appeared in the list. I will try connecting. An error occurred. Although I can directly access a sum sure using the IP address in Windows Explorer, I am unable to connect using the computer name. I will resolve this issue. In addition to TS-445, I will also add the port numbers shown in the video. Let's check again to see if we can reconnect. It worked successfully. I will assign this folder as a network drive in Windows. I can easily access the shared folder and perform file operations as if on a local drive. This time, I will try accessing the Windows shared folder from Ubuntu. I will set up sharing for an appropriate folder in Windows. In the video, I will set up the test folder located directly under the C drive to be shareable. I will right-click on the target folder and configure its settings. Here, I will add users who can access this. I plan to access from Ubuntu using this user information. While settings are relatively easy on the Ubuntu desktop, I will configure using the command line interface. If the address of the Windows computer is unknown, it can be checked using the command prompt or similar tools. To access a Windows shared folder from Ubuntu, I will use the Soma client tool. I will install the client tool. To access the Windows shared folder, First, I will create a mount point. Next, I will mount the Windows shared folder, but the command is lengthy. The username and password are for accessing the Windows share. Please replace the Windows PC zip address and share name as appropriate. Here is a command adjusted for the actual environment. With this, I am now prepared to access the Windows shared folder. The mounted shared folder is located at the specified mount point. I will navigate to this directory and check its contents. Indeed, these files are the same as those in Windows. There is a point to note here. If the IP address of Windows changes, 
The man settings in Ubuntu will also need to be updated. Is the IP address changes frequently? It is useful to consider assigning a static IP to the Windows machine or using a DNS name for mounting. Currently in the video, I am demonstrating how to unmount an existing mount. I think the command line is not often used except in specific cases, so I will also check on the desktop. Sharing a specific directory on the desktop can also be done relatively easily. When I attempt to share, it prompts me to install Samba, so I will follow the instructions. I have also completed the sharing settings on other computers. Being able to display the list of computers on the network has become convenient. Why don't you also try learning on this occasion? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.